Director! I haven't a clue what to do for my spotlight. <laughs> my perfect spotlight is performances ye get. Only a week away. <laughs> Should I try to perform, stretching out the bod on stage? Oh, rats, what's a nerd to do? I sit right angled in a chair all day, twiddling the digits. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, vanity pop. I am king of those stages. No risk there. No pairs of primate eyes on me. <laughs> <laughs> Offline audiences rock. <laughs> Thespian not, writhing no. I am stiff as a board, so all aboard for my online theater, where I can preen and pose and strut about all of my avatar, completely risk-free. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but if nobody online knows you're not a dog, how do you know you have an audience? Well, we. Don't turn me on. Facebook doesn't get me FaceTime. Start shutdown. So here I am, on stage, no escaping from you all. You really are out there, horrors. <laughs> you can OK or cancel me at any time, right out of existence. <laughs> What's that, director? You're telling me, turn on, boy, turn on. But you're also asking me if I have a voice. Well, I'm not sure about that, but hey. Uh -oh. At least I'm gone. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Thrift store shapeshifter. Playing <laughs> dress up with my love squeeze. So, is this enough? These rags, do they render me? Can I just stand here and be examined? <laughs> hey, I'm wearable art. You out there play act like you're in a museum. Ah, can I go now? <laughs> What's that, director? No go, boy. Oh, I've got to start to move to emote. Ye gods, what life is tomorrow? <laughs> well, uh, I could tell a story. Can you hold a stage with a story, a simple story? Dixie says so, but... Hell, what does Dixie know? <laughs> <laughs> well, just about everything. <laughs> what are you saying, director? Boy, do a reduction and a retabulation. Hmm, let's see. So, lose the story, uh, lose the moves, uh, lose the garb, uh, lose the self. d -red, teleport, poof, start. Back to square zero. Wow. How can a square do spotlight? <laughs> a spot is round. At least where it lights up a stage, like right over here. Wow. And a square should fit nicely into a spot. <laughs> Let me try this out, standing right here. Hmm, this feels good. This feels pretty darn wonderful. This feels... Spot on. <laughs> okay or cancel. <laughs> Act three. Hey, I'm finally on the spot. So what do I do? What could I have to say to you? Well, nothing actually. <laughs> Heck, I don't have to say anything. And holy cow, I don't even have to write. 
why? Because I'm well read. <laughs> well read. So me, I'm a red spot. I'm a red spot. My dad was a car hop in the 1940s at a place called the White Spot. So that reminds me, I was adopted when I was 11 days old. So for most of my life, I felt I was alone like a planet drifting in the universe with no solar system with no spot. Then, hey, I must be like that red spot on Jupiter. That's right, I like a storm the width of the Earth. But wait, if I'm a storm the width of the Earth, I could, well, swallow up the Earth. Into my crimson veil, my civilization of wired fools, <laughs> I will catch you all distracted. And you and your black fairies will fall here into my horrid, horrid vortice. Oh dear, what a spot I've got myself into. Holy cow, I'm now destroyer of nerd worlds. <laughs> you nerds are all suckers for the Armageddon anyway. Technopolis, don't you call it? <laughs> hey, it's a cheap and thrilling way to get some publicity, right? Sell a few books and sell out some seminars. Remember Y2K in 2012 and now Armageddon the sequel, 2020. <laughs> but wait, 2020 is also about vision, right? A clear vision. So how do we all get a clear, positive vision instead? If we get out of bed every morning under a cloud, we jinx the weather for everyone. So scrub the spots from your specs. Hey man, I'm a nerd. I do not get up without any vision. I have a heavy head full of email and Facebook and Twitter. I am thusly enlightened, so damn. <laughs> but maybe, <laughs> dear, maybe could it be that all of this tech is not a vision for the future. It's not a clear vision. It's in fact a huge blind spot. What's that, boss? You're telling me back to the center, boy. Okay, boss, I'm here. What are you saying? Spotty performance, boy. <laughs> you really mean it? Well, where do we go from here? Uh, you're selling, telling me go back to where you were. Where is that, boss, exactly? Well, now you're telling me that I've been talking a lot about death and a lot about my email, which is another kind of death. <laughs> but I still haven't a clue what to do. Director, you're now making me very nervous by telling me my spot is almost over and then tap, tap, tapping on your timepiece. Well, boss, truthfully, what I really wanted to do was to feel fully alive here on stage. To look people in the eye, to make them laugh, to make them squirm, and to make them laugh again. Director, what's that? So how do I think I did that? Huh. Well, my heart is a pound, and my pupils are a dilate, and my <laughs> brain is a buzzing. So yeah, boss, I guess I was uh, kind of alive. Finally, <laughs> alive. Uh, standing on this uh, one little red spot just over here for a brief moment. Or could it be that I could take this spot with me out to the universe, ah. wherever I go and for whomever I meet? So I guess, boss, does that mean Rocket, I could have a spotlight? Yeah. <laughs>